come and they tell you that demons are responsible for your poverty. The demons are the ones delaying your destiny. And you know, and you are scared. You whenever you hear demons, you want to perform. We have been living with demons. John 10 said the thief comments, but to do what? To steal, to kill, and and to destroy. So anybody who steals is what? The thief. Somebody who kills is what? And someone who destroys is what? The thief. Eh? Okay. Who has been stealing in this country? Who are those that have been stealing? Are they not in government? When one person will carry five billion naira and nothing will happen, they have been stealing. And from stealing, what happens? Have they not killed? Have I not told you before? Somebody steals money meant for doing road. And the road is not done. And people die out of accident. Has that person not killed? Because stealing and killing go together. And when you kill, have you not destroyed? Hospitals that would have been built in the country, people stole the money. To the extent that even Asoro Clinic, that budgets are done every year, running into billions, cannot even treat. Can't treat our president. Can't even treat no simple this thing. But the budget was done. Who, who, what happened to the money? It was stolen. Abby, who stole it? I'm asking who stole it. It's not human being like you, flesh and blood. That we even live with. Some of them even come to church. So this is my problem with some men of God who make our problem look like it's a demonic problem. So we must be doing deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. No. The demons, see, I cannot fear the devil anymore because we live with them. We, we, his cousins, his nieces, his sisters, his brothers, his uncles, they are in our legislators, what do they call themselves? Legislature. They are in the judiciary, they are in the presidency, they are in the local government, they are in the state government. We live with them. They have been killing. So why would anybody now frighten you and tell you demons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, demons have even gone to God to report Nigerians. That the things they have not done, Nigerians are doing what? Are saying they are the one. Face your fear. Meaning know who, who know the right fear to face. Know what, where your problem is actually coming from. Otherwise you just keep, and that's part of the problem I have with this mighty, mighty man of God who we tell poor parishioners or poor Christians that your destiny has been um, stolen by a demon. Abby? Or by one spirit. Come for deliverance. But the destiny thieves are all over there. Then when these mighty men of God have chance to meet with these destiny thieves, these demons, what do they do? They will not deliver them. They would rather take pictures with them and come and show us how connected they are. But then they will not come to the poor ones and tell them that the demons that are holding your destiny, you come and do 21 day fasting and prayer. But you will meet with the men demons and you will not deliver them so that Nigeria will be good. Face your fear. Leave demons alone. You hear me? Leave the, if the devil comes, if you wake up at night and you feel it's the devil that woke you up, ah, I want to kill you. Tell him, bro, <laughs> my next door neighbor said, even was past you, I have survived him or her. I'm not scared of you. We have seen it. Most of our problem, most of the things you guys are made to be scared of in the spiritual, those are not the problems of Nigeria. I am telling you with all conviction. It is not demons that came from hell and took the money that is meant to purchase arms for our military. That bandits can enter a village and slaughter people in hundreds and do everything they are doing and go. No arrest. Have you ever heard that bandits were arrested and prosecuted in this country? Is it demon? Are they demons? As if uh, your destiny, you'll be busy binding and casting destiny, um, um, destiny demons. And I beg you, if I hear which destiny demons. So just do not be afraid. Jesus says, and Jesus was even right. He didn't say, do not be afraid of the devil. He said, fear, have no fear of what? Of men. Do not fear men. Our problem is from our hand, though. We know what the devil can do and what we are doing. So do not be afraid. That fear 
that will stifle you, that fear that will cripple you, that fear that will make you lose focus on God is not a healthy fear. Today, the Lord is telling you, calm down. Do not be afraid. I am with you. And God will be with us till the end of time. We cannot be a nation of praying people. We call ourselves the most populous country in Nigeria. Absolutely. Really? But when it comes to protest, we are the least populous country. Yes. Because we have cowards as citizens. Yes. People who are afraid to die. Are we living in Nigeria? No. Is this life? No. Is this life? I spent seven months in the UK. I just came back two weeks ago. I just finished my 14 days quarantine. You know what? I wasn't treated as a slave in another man's land. Hmm. So who would dare to treat me as a slave in my own country? Because we call out those who fail. Every day you get a phone call from someone in the middle of the night hmm. telling you that they need money for health care, mm. they need money for school fees, Nigeria's they school. need money for this and that. Yes. Nigeria's made demands on fellow citizens, but they dare not make demands on the government sure. that yes. they're failing them, that yes. they're losing them, mm. that are packing their things away. Mm. It yes. is high time we begin to do tough law. Yes. Oh. yes. Enough of the nonsense. Yes. When some people will stay at home, they expect us to put our lives on the line for them. No, and yes. And they will call and tell us to bring money. People have been making excuses. All you just said, what was on social media? Oh, oh sure, whatever is the one doing it, they will not call. And Rashid is the one doing it, they will not call. Oh, Adel G is the one doing it, they will not call. Oh, Ariel is the one doing it, they will not call. You know what? Excuses are like shoes, and you always find the one that fits. Yes. Yes. It is time for us to stand as a nation. Yes. I'm tired of being afraid in my country. Yes. I'm tired of hiding in my house. I'm tired of paying unnecessary school fees. I'm tired of paying bills. Come to the tighty care that they pay. What would you buy? A bag of rice? Yes. And that's it? No, you won't buy a bag. And then we'll have a president. A bag of rice is 58,000. And yet he's sent in. And security agents to come and intimidate us. You all should be ashamed of yourself. Yes. You all should be ashamed of yourself. That is the truth. You all should look at yourself and let the tears fall down. Yes. You are killing this nation. Yes. No how much do they pay you? How much is your food? Yeah, yeah, how much do you pay your children? They take off of their welfare. They need to get to work. The child of the president and the child of the policeman should have, have equal, equal rights right in this country. Yes. Absolutely. Should have access to good quality education. Absolutely. Yes. How much is the school fees in Regent where most of them have your children? You see us on the streets. You think we are hungry. That's why. We're, we're not hungry. We're not hungry. We aren't. We are, we are not. Angry. It is Buhari and his what? people that are hungry. The people who are stealing our money. How much is it your salary? Yeah, the hungry people. How much is your salary? How much do you pay for your children's school fees? Do your children get the same access to good quality education like your children? No, that's why we are here. So the next time they send you to protest them, think and tell about you to put it. A and you come out with guns. Think about it. Yes. And the thing is that 